Good morning, folks. Today is a day for weather. It was a rough one across the Atlantic. We're going to be running down the usual space weather, including an incoming coronal hole on the equator, which will peak the quake watch as Saturn opposes the sun in just a few days. Before we get started, though, I want to remind you folks that earthchanges.org is our newest resource. Also, the easiest to use, you just go and start clicking the videos. It's also our portal combining the topics of Earth's magnetic reversal and the worries about either a major solar flare or a coming grand minimum of activity. But first, we come to spaceweathernews.com and find the last day on our star to be full of incoming features, but without anything resembling Earth-directed eruptions. The dark coronal hole is visible incoming on the equator here, but we also have bright umbral magnetic fields that may be the return of some sunspots on the north, along with a thin dark plasma filament up there too. Apart from watching the incoming features, the Earth-facing quiet finally took his foot off the chest of the departing sunspots. Now that they're leaving, apparently, they're allowed to grow all they want. Of course, they dare not flare when facing Earth. One charge into C-class range yesterday was crushed almost immediately. Solar wind is showing continued fluctuations of an above-average stream from the departed coronal hole. It is somewhat weak, though, and being deflected by our magnetic field. Planets calm. As we mentioned and have been mentioning for days, that coronal hole is coming into face Earth as Saturn and the Sun sit on opposite sides of our planet, and Venus will be trying to get in the mix as well. We could be seeing a re-ramp of seismicity starting a day early here as Taiwan took a six-pointer in the overnight hours. Same northern coastal area had an unexplained power surge problem at a nuclear facility two days ago. Coming to the alert map now, and no folks, the operator didn't accidentally drop all those symbols on Germany. The flooding was just really that bad. Torrential downpours that are not yet over with, and which will keep battering Europe today, overtook two river containments, destroyed cars, and took down buildings. Eyes open for more tonight. The U.S. June and full summer temperature forecasts have been updated over at the Weather Channel. Cooler in the south-central areas with a warm north, and that is expected to settle in by the end of the summer with a heat-back-loaded La Nina to set in before winter. That's a polar vortex and jet stream blocking nightmare for the northern hemisphere. Anyway, tonight the lows divide the nation once more. Could be severe weather and flood threats from Gulf up to Canada. 30 million people in the crosshairs tonight. We're going to hit Europe down under and the land straddling the South Atlantic here with pressure and radar forecast for the rest of the day. We also have some shots of our star to close. It's 3.45 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.